in the time of lords and ladies, castles and kings, monsters and dragons and magical rings, there lived one who told to young and old tales of all these things. The tale teller traveled from village to village and town to town, telling tales in exchange for a hot meal or a nice place to sleep and quite often for a story or two or three to take with him on his journey, for tales are meant to be shared. They're not told, they crumble into dust. On the night my tale takes place, the lord of the castle had thrown his feast hall open and invited all the people from miles around to come and hear the guest of honor, the marvelous tale teller. Among the people who wanted to come was a young peasant girl. She was about 14 years old. She had to be both mother and father to her little sister, for their parents had died. Her little sister couldn't come. She was sick. But she told her older sister, oh, please, please, go hear that tale teller and bring a tale home for me. So the older sister went. When she got there, oh, she saw the tables just laden with food. She saw all the people happy and talking, and she saw the tale teller come into the hall. He had a long white beard, and he had a leather satchel on his back. And all the people called out, a tale, a tale, please tell us a story. And the tale teller smiled, and he put his satchel on the table. And he opened it up, and there inside were stones. Stones of all shapes and sizes, all of them shining in the candlelight. He said, I have a new one. And he reached into the satchel, and he pulled out a stone, and he put it over his heart. Once... There was a crumbling castle upon a mountain top. And as he told this story, no one moved. No one dared to breathe. They didn't want to miss a word. And when he was done, he took his hand from his heart and he put the stone back in the satchel. And then the people said, another, tell another. And he said, I'll tell a funny one. And he reached into the satchel, pulled out a different stone, put it over his heart. In the forest one day, a fox met a bear. And everyone laughed as they heard this tale. And when he finished, he took the stone away and put it back in the satchel. Then they shouted again, tell another tale, tell another. Tell a love story, said a couple sitting near, and he looked at them and he could see in their eyes the shine of brand new love. So he reached into his satchel and he pulled out a silvery stone shaped like a heart and he put it over his heart. Once there was a maiden of uncommon beauty, and as the listeners heard this tale, some of them grew misty-eyed, for they could remember what it was like when they were newly in love, and they feared that perhaps the one they loved didn't love them back. Oh. But there was one in the hall whose eyes were not wet. That one was a thief. He had come, not for the free food, not for the stories, but for stealing things. And as he looked around the hall for something to steal, he wondered what's in that satchel. So he slithered through the hall like a snake while everyone was listening to the story of the lovers. And he stood beside the satchel and peered at it in the candlelight. 
These are not ordinary stones. That one, that looks like carnelian. That's amber. That looks like opal. Oh, I want these stones. <gasps> Lapis lazuli. Oh, how can I take them? How can I get away with this? And as he pondered this, he didn't realize the tale teller had finished his story and had taken the stone from his heart and returned it to the satchel. And there in front of the, the thief's eyes, he saw, oh, that looks like solid silver. Then the tale teller said, I grow thirsty. I will tell another tale when I return, but for now, I'm going to get some refreshment. And he left. And he left the satchel on the table. The thief saw his chance. He took his pouch that he had hanging from his belt, and he reached and took a handful of stones and shoved it in the pouch. Then he reached and took another handful, and he shoved until the pouch was as full as full could be. Then he slithered out and into the night. And the tale teller, he stood by the door, stroking his beard. And watching.